Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, then I welcome you. If you love watching handbag videos and a little bit of this and that, then certainly hit the subscribe button. But let's go ahead and jump into this video. So y'all, I know that I missed posting a video on Wednesday, so I wanted to make sure to get you guys a video out today. And I thought that it would be a good idea for me to go ahead and do this tag video that I was actually tagged to do. So y'all, I do have my iPad right here because I wanna make sure that I am saying all of this right. So this tag y'all was actually created by Caleb Snell. If you guys aren't following Caleb, definitely go and check him out. I love watching his content. Um, He has a really nice handbag collection too, so definitely check him out. The name of this tag, y'all, is called Shop Your Closet Fall 2024 Challenge. And I was tagged by the YouTube content creator, Miss Sparkle. Absolutely love her too. Her personality is so bubbly and I wouldn't expect anything less from a person whose favorite color is yellow. <laughs> So y'all definitely go and check her out. I will leave both channels below, but y'all let me tell you, I was so excited when she tagged me to do this tag because I absolutely love pulling out my fall bags and carrying them y'all. Like I feel like I have a really nice um, nice collection when it comes to fall colored bags. We're gonna get on into it. Um, there are seven bags that I have to pull from. So to get started, y'all, the first bag that I needed to pull from my collection is going to be a jewel tone bag. When it came to Jewel Tone bags, y'all, the first bag that immediately came to my mind is a bag that I was actually gifted for my birthday this year. And it is going to be this gorgeous bag right here, y'all. This bag was actually gifted to me by my tribe sister, Suz. And y'all, I absolutely love this bag. Like, this color is just so good. And y'all... I am so glad that Suds actually gifted me this bag because prior, I did not own any Kurt Geiger bags. But now that I have this one, y'all, I am really just crushing on the brand. And I have been taking my time and trying to figure out which bag I want to get next. So I do plan on adding another Kurt Geiger to my Kurt Geiger bag to my collection before the year is out. But y'all, this color is everything. This is actually in the color um, Patrol. And I just love this bag. It is made out of recycled nylon. Very, very nice though. Here is the back of it. And what I love so much about this bag, y'all, besides the fact of the color, is that the fact that it comes with this chain um, strap here. I love a bag with a chain strap. It's just, it just does something for me, y'all. So, yes, this chain is so gorgeous. This bag does also come with a crossbody strap, too, which I believe I do have in the bag, yes. And it is a web strap at that, y'all, which is, like, so nice. Like, look at this strap. How nice is that? I might have to end up seeing if I have a bag in my collection that I can use this on because, yeah, I really do like this strap, y'all. Although I didn't carry it with the bag, I am also a sucker for a nice web strap, too. But, yeah, this is going to fall under the jewel tone category. Next category, y'all, almost had me wanting to go and purchase something because I feel like I am really lacking in this department. But the next is going to be cargo bag. And y'all, when I think of cargo, I think of like a bag with a lot of pockets. So I had to really think outside the box on this one. So hear me out, y'all. When I show y'all this bag, keep in mind, we're thinking outside the box, okay? <laughs> So the next bag is going to be my Judy and Burt Kingston Hobo in this beautiful violet color. And this is actually Florentine leather. And y'all, this bag is everything. I just love it. So I chose this bag, y'all, because it does have multiple outside pockets. With this bag, you actually get one pocket here as well as on the other side. And then you also get two like pockets here in the front too. So you get a total of four exterior pockets, and I just love this, y'all. I love it so much. Love the tassels on this bag. This handle, the strap is just so, so good. Very comfortable. I love it when Dooney and Burke does the equestrian straps on the bag. 
it really just elevates it for me. You guys, a quick peek of the inside. I haven't really showed this bag a lot lately, other than like featuring it in the what's in my bag. Uh, not what's in my bag, but in a um my collections video. So I think I need to do like an update video on this bag soon. But here, this bag does come with a back zip pocket. And then on the other side, you get two slip pockets or snap pockets. And then it does, of course, come with the key keeper too. And it has a small, tiny bit of suede uh, at the top there. This is what I chose for my cargo bag. Well, the next category is is an East West bag. And right now, East West bags are really in. I haven't really gravitated to any. So again, this was also hard for me to choose from. But after looking around in my collection, um, I think i did okay so the bag that is coming in as my east west bag is going to be my um gucci small flora padlock shoulder bag so yeah this is the closest thing y'all i could think of within my collection when it comes to east west um i don't know if it's more so east west but this is the closest thing i can find y'all okay <laughs> Again, you know, I think that the style itself is really nice. It's just not one that I gravitate to. So it was a little hard shopping within my collection. But I do really love this bag, y'all. I actually grabbed this from Fashion File a couple of years ago. Such an amazing purchase. Um, I have just been crushing on this bag. And I think I need to actually carry this bag again soon. Um, it is just so good. Even the floral print on it, I think it's a nice... It's a nice year-round color or print, but I really love wearing this print in the fall season. So here is the interior. It does come with that nice uh, micro. I think this is probably real suede. It feels like real suede, but suede interior. It does have a back pocket as well as a front pocket. And that's pretty much all the organization that you get in this bag. But yeah, I really, really love this, y'all. And this bag is coming in as my East West bag. So next up, I had to choose a double extra large hobo out of my collection. And y'all, this was definitely a no-brainer for me. I literally just purchased a extra large hobo. You guys saw it recently. And so, of course, y'all know I had to pick it, right? So, the bag that I ended up going with is this bag right here, y'all. This bag makes me so, so happy. Like, I absolutely love this bag. And what's so crazy, y'all, like I said when I revealed this bag, is I wasn't even checking for this bag. Not until I went in store and sent and laid eyes on it is when I actually fell in love with it. And I want another one, y'all. I really, really want Marc Jacobs to come out with this size in like the ribbon pink or some kind of pink shade. But um, I don't know. I think I might. I don't know which color I want to get next, but I know I need to get another one in this. But this, y'all, is the Marc Jacobs, the sack bag. This is considered the medium size, but y'all, this is a big mama. Like this bag is so big. Um, she holds a lot and I'll of course be leaving the link to my what's in my bag that I recently did But this bag is so nice y'all. She does come with this huge pouch Or insert I did not use it in the bag, but it is cool to have And it actually even comes with the little kind of hook here where you can actually hook it onto the bag if you want it to but yeah, it comes with that. And then here is the interior of this Big Mama. Like, look at this, y'all. All leather. Like, it doesn't get any better than that. And this bag, the only organization that it has is that back slip pocket there. It does have the magnetic closure, which, by the way, is really good. Like, when I tell y'all I packed this bag and the magnet still, like, stayed shut, I was very impressed by that. Even with, like just feeling this bag like the quality is so good i can go on and on but we're not gonna spend too much more time on this bag but yeah y'all this is coming in as my double extra large hobo bag so the next category was to choose a clutch out of my collection that i would actually carry during the fall time and this was a hard one y'all because i have so many gorgeous clutches 
um, that I would actually carry in the fall. But I decided to choose this one because I did recently get this one when Forever 21 dropped this collection a few months ago. And so I haven't showed this to y'all yet, but I am planning on showing, I, but I am planning on doing a what's in my bag on it very soon. Um, but yeah, y'all, the next item is going to be this bag right here. Ah, this bag, y'all, is so cute. <laughs> it is so adorable. So this is actually my, um, Coca-Cola bag. <laughs> Um, again, like I said, I got this from Forever 21. I love Forever 21 collabs. Like, they are so good at collabing with other brands. And, fun fact, y'all, Coca-Cola is actually my favorite soda. Not one that I buy to have in the house, but if I go out, like, to a fast food restaurant, then I am going to get a Coca-Cola. So, yes, this is what I chose as my clutch. Um, this bag can actually be carried as a crossbody too, so it has the hooks on the top to be able to carry it as a crossbody, and I do have the strap right here. Now, if I ever carried it as a crossbody, I wouldn't use this strap because, I don't know, it just looks a little cheap to me. It really cheapens the bag. So, what I would do, y'all, is actually use another silver strap that I got off of one of my coach bags. And it really elevates the look a little more. Um, but here is the inside of this bag, y'all. It is so cute. And look at how wide it opens. Like, it is just so, so good. But again, yes, I would definitely carry this as a clutch just in my hand like so. Um, of course, I would even be able to put it under the crook of my arm. It is a little bulky now. <laughs> But I can definitely pull it off. But yes, yes. I had to choose this bag. I just had to choose this bag. So, yep, here is my clutch. Next category was to pick a bucket bag. And this was also a pretty easy one because when it comes to bucket bags, I do have my favorites that I tend to reach for during the fall. Mine that I ended up shopping in my collection for was this bag right here. Another one, y'all, that just makes me smile. Like, I tell you, every bag that I am pulling out right now is just really making me smile. Like, I just love fall. All right, <laughs> back to this bag, though. This is actually my Tory Burch Kira uh, Chevron bucket bag. And this is actually in the color Garnet. And this is such a very pretty burgundy color, y'all. As y'all know right now, burgundy is like so in. And I was actually talking with the tribe sister and we were just talking about how like burgundy is always in during the fall season. Like you just cannot go wrong with a nice burgundy bag. And you know what, y'all? Stay tuned. Stay tuned because I will come back and do a video just showing you all of my burgundy slash wine color bags that I have in my collection. Yeah, I think that'll be a good video to do, so stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, y'all, this bag is so good. It does, of course, have the little drawstring closure. And then this bag, you can carry it as a top handle, but it does come with a shoulder strap, which I wish was detachable, but unfortunately it is not. It still is attached to the bag. Um, and here is the interior. It just has a zip pocket in the back, and that's pretty much all the organization. And it does actually have a snap closure too. Y'all, I think, I feel like I really looked up with this bag because I got this bag during one of Toy Birch's like semi sales that she was doing. And after that sale, I never seen any of the Kira bucket bags again. So I am really glad that I got this bag. It is definitely a forever one in my collection. And yeah, this one is definitely one that I would choose um, for my bucket bag during the fall season. All right, so we are down to the last category. In this last category, I pretty much had to pick an extra large tote within my collection. Although I am a tote girl, I do lean more towards the medium-sized totes. So I don't have many extra large totes within my collection. So the bag, y'all, that I chose is my Rolleton Neverfull GM in the monogram print, y'all. And this one does have the fuchsia interior, I think is what it's called. Look at that gorgeous fuchsia, y'all. Oh my gosh. Like this color is everything. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. So yeah, this bag, y'all, is humongous. Like as you can see, it's taking up most of 
the camera. It is such a big bag, but I love this bag, y'all. I really, really do. Um, here is the side of it. My bag still looks really, really good, y'all. It is aging very nicely. Although I will say I haven't, I haven't carried her um at all this year, which is actually pretty bad. So I am going to be um carrying this bag though this fall, absolutely, most definitely. <laughs> um, it does come with this little shed pouch situation. And I feel like I have used this this year, though. But I haven't used the bag. Um, and this bag does come with a back pocket, which is very generous. And it has a half closure, if you will. But yes, I love this bag, y'all. So I absolutely had to choose this one for my fall carry extra large tote. Yeah, it's just good. It's really good. I think I have to make a trip soon um, to South Carolina. So I think I might end up carrying this bag because she definitely does hold it all. Yeah, I think I will. <laughs> So that is that y'all that pretty much concludes this video y'all that was so much fun like I really enjoyed going in shopping my closet during this fall season like that was so much fun so I absolutely have to try to keep this going I do want to tag some of my fellow YouTube content creators to do this tag first one I would like to tag is simply D um, Simply D, I would love to see you do this tag. I love your collection. I know you have a lot of nice fall colored bags too. So I would really be interested in knowing what you would choose. Also, I would love to see Ola May actually do this video too. She has really, y'all, been bringing the heat when it comes to the unboxes. And she's been unboxing a lot of gorgeous bags. So Ola May, I would love to see your choices for this tag. Oh, this is another good one because she has a really gorgeous collection too. And I know she has a lot of cute fall bags. So Anita's favorite. I would love to see you do this tag as well. Next up is Carmen Hawkins. And y'all, let me just pause and say that. Carmen recently showed her Dooney and Burke collection. And when I tell y'all, I was drooling all over her bags. Like, Carmen has a really, really nice collection. So, Carmen, I would really love for you to do this video, too. And then, last YouTuber that I would like to tag is Naturally Niche. Now, I haven't seen her on YouTube lately, but if you are watching this video, Naturally Niche, then I would love for you to do this video as well because I know you have a gorgeous collection, too. And that is that, y'all. Um, Those are all the YouTubers that I will be tagging. But if I did not tag you and you want to do this tag, then definitely feel free to do it definitely do the tag and if you do then um let me know so that i can come over and watch your video again thank you miss sparkle for actually tagging me and thank you kayla for coming up with such an awesome tag i think that it is amazing that we shop our closet especially because all throughout the year we buy so many gorgeous bags so why not shop the closet <laughs> But that is that, y'all. That completes this video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, then certainly give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.